Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Vinit Devaya. Uh, I'm the CEO and founder of TeleportMe.com, uh, the number one 360 virtual tour creator software uh, in the industry. And uh, today, I wanted to create a small demo of probably one of the coolest features uh, we have launched in the past uh, two years, and that is of the um, 3D Dollhouse. So if you are familiar with uh, products like Matterport, you know that the Matterport 3D Dollhouse is one of the premium features that uh, most of customers require uh, for their virtual tours. And till today, there wasn't really a good solution that was not expensive, was not created by a third party, but something that a photographer or a small business owner can create by themselves. So after a lot of hard work from my team, uh, from our team, and uh, a lot of sweat and tears, uh, we were able to create a, uh, I would say, 80 to 85% of what the Matterport uh, dollhouse does. Now, just to be very clear, the Matterport dollhouse is extremely good uh, and uh, for good purposes, it's an expensive software with its own hardware. Uh, we have tried to mimic it as much as possible. I'm going to slowly, I'm just going to show you how our uh, dollhouse looks like, and then I'm also going to slowly get into how to create the dollhouse. This is going to be about a 15 to 20 minute uh, demo uh, video. So strap on, uh, get a cup of coffee uh, or a glass of wine, and uh, let's go. All right, so here is what the current uh, dollars looks like. So this is an example of a 360 uh, tour uh, that is created using Teleport Me. As you can see, we got a floor plan here. We got all the places here. And this is a 3D dollhouse. So just like Matterport, we got a 3D view of what it is. You can kind of zoom in, zoom out. Uh, and when you kind of click, when you hover over here, you'll see uh, what the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the spaces are. And then when you click on it, you sort of zoom in. So when you click on it, it kind of goes in. And we have this really cool transition. Now, this is a super cool feature. Uh, I don't know of any software that has made it as easy as we have done it to create it. Uh, there are products out there where you have to contact a third party, and they help it, help you do it. Or you have to download a separate plugin, do a lot of stuff. Ours is super simple. And let me just show you how it works. Um, now, over here, this is the actual editor. If you have used uh, Teleport Me, you'll know it, uh, how it looks. So this is kind of the tour. We have added a block. So if you go to the Add Block section, uh, you will have the dollhouse. And then you add it over here. In this case, we've already added the dollhouse. And so it's on this tab. And here you can see this is the dollhouse. And super simple, right? So now the question is, how do you make it? And let me first talk to you about what the general editor looks like, what exactly is happening on the screen so that uh, you have a better idea, right? So in this screen, first you have the add a room option. So in this case, I think we have all the rooms added. So if I, even if I click add a room, okay, we have a couple of, we have only one more uh, room that's not been added. So we can add that. There we go. And now that kind of, you can see it's sort of not placed here and then you can sort of move it. So let me go here and let me kind of move it in here. Now, Sometimes this is not aligned properly because it's a 3D scene. So what you can do is to pan over here, you can see it says control or meta or shift key. So you hit control and you can pan it around. Uh, zoom is mouse scroll or uh, something like this. And then you can also kind of get it up and down. Now, what I like to do is I like to, so in this case, we have two floors. You can see there is all these floors over here, but over here, we can see there are just two floors. Right, so let's go with level zero. Now, what I want to do over here, now that I have found the ground floor, is I want to set this up. I want to make this sure that this is here. And I also want to make sure that they're all properly aligned. So I personally like to do two things. I personally like to enable labels. So when you enable labels, you'll see all the labels over here. And it also gives you a way to click and select. So without the labels, we don't really have a way to click and select. So I would recommend enabling the labels, and then I would enable enable 2D. Now, this becomes super easy to move around. So to move around, you can do two things. You can either hold on to the arrow keys and move it in straight lines like this, right? Or you can hold on to this green square right here and kind of move it around. So I personally like this because then you have all motion. So for example, now I click on this name, and then I just move it around here, right? And now you can see it's smashed up. Now, you'll, you'll notice that when you slightly overlap, this becomes red. The reason for that is we didn't want people to sort of overlap the thing. So we kind of give you a very cute cue. So if it's not overlapped, it's green. And so you can see. So now if I select this, you'll see there's no overlap, no overlap. But like if I kind of select this and move it into it, you'll see it has this red kind of connotation, right? There you go. So now I can do this into 3D. 
and here we got you got it right so this is the this these are some of the features to do it now i'm going to go back to 2d again so now when you're in 2d we have let's say you have selected this room now for a lot of cases you may or may not know the dimensions of the room right <clears throat> so when you don't know the dimensions of the room you just kind of keep it square that's what we recommend it makes it look good. It makes it look even. But if you if you really want to have the dimensions and make sure that the dimensions are correct, uh, what I recommend is going over here. So once you select the room, you'll get the width, the depth, and the positions. Right. So over here, all you have to do is do the width and the depth, which is the height and the length. And that's all you got to sort of move around with. All right. So we got this. Now, what you want to see, now I want to see level one. Right. So now I'm in level one. Put control and I pan it. Okay, now you can see you got everything over here. They're all well done. You're happy with it. And you go to 3D over here, and then you can select all. And now you have all levels here. Right? So this is very, very simple to do, right? And I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch in another tour. But these are all the uh what you would call it this. The most of the features that you wanted to know. The other thing that you can do over here, you can go to settings. When you go to settings, you can set the default camera position. So over here, as you can see, when I click on it, it gives me this camera position from the top. But let's say I want to start it somewhere like this, you know, somewhere a little bit more cooler, kind of slanted this way. So I go here, I see, okay, let's say this is what I want, right? I want this. Kind of scroll a little bit, let's say here. And then I set this as the default camera position. The dollar is a bit updated. I save it just to make sure. And then I go here. And I refresh it. It takes a little bit of a time because this is a 3D uh, model. And then you click on it. And here you can see it has taken the same orientation as is here. So again, to do that, you just have to go to Settings and set it up. Over here, you have Levels. So over here, you can set up the name of the level. So level 0 might be you know, ground floor. Level one, maybe first floor. Okay. So now, again, this is saved. You'll have to refresh it first. Then again, all the rooms are here. Now here, you can see the add room is is grayed out. That's because we have added all the rooms, right? Uh, if you want to remove rooms from it, all you have to do is go here, select the room, and hit remove room, and it will remove the room. OK, so <clears throat> this might seem a little bit more tedious if you add each room, then kind of combine it. So we have a really cool way uh, to set it up. Now I'm going to show you another tour. So this is another tour of ours. And here you can see that uh, there's a floor plan, welcome blocks, and all this stuff. So now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the dollhouse. So you can see completely blank slate. There's nothing over here. But over here, I have a floor plan, which has all the rooms over here, as you can see. Excuse me. And so what I can do is I can go over here and just hit generate from floor plan. And when it has generated from floor plan, it generates all the rooms in that sort of order uh, to sort of mimic the floor plan. Now, this is not going to be super accurate because most of the rooms are not accurate. And uh, but it's a good starting point. And so I usually do this. I, I add the floor plan, I generate from floor plan, and then I go here, I hit 2D, I enable labels, and then I just move it around. And here we go. There you go. All right. Uh, let's see this one. Okay. And now you can look in 3D. There we go. And that's it. That's literally how easy it is. And now, if you want to, now let's say you add more panoramas and you can go over here, you can add room. So, in this case, as you know, this I haven't fully added it here, so I can add other rooms here. Uh, I can change the name of the levels using this. I can change the perspective of this. Let's say I want to have uh, like uh, this perspective, something like this. Save it. <coughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. Then you go here. Let's do this. Let's preview it.
There you go. That's the three doll house, and then it works as beautiful as it is. You go, yeah, it's kitchen, lounge room, go up, boom. There you go. So that's as simple as that. And uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I've missed here. So you've done the selected room, 2D labels, uh, settings, remove room. So yeah, it's as simple as that. I mean, like I said, I recommend doing 2D over here and just kind of moving it around based on where you think it is going to be. Uh, try not to overlap. You know? So this is kind of zoomed in, so I can kind of zoom out a little bit, hold con Command, pan it around, make sure that it's really cool. All right, I think, I think that's... Uh, that's pretty much it. I feel that this is a really cool feature. I think that's very useful. It will help you help you in selling more to your customers as you grow your business. It's an added add-on to the virtual tour. And you can do it by yourself. Like I showed you, once you create the tour, it takes you maybe 10 to 15 minutes to generate the, uh, the $3. And it's all a part of the plan, uh, depending on which plan. It's a part of the business plan. So I just wanted to say that. Like, So if you have the business plan, uh, it's going to be a part of it. And in the business plan, you have a set number of tours, and every tour that you create can have one 3D doll house with it. So I hope in this demo that uh, this will help everybody uh, create more doll houses. And uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, uh, definitely reach out to us at help at teleportme.com. You can join our Facebook group at Virtual Tour Marketing. Uh, the links, if this is being watched on YouTube, then the links are going to be in the description down there. And thank you for your time, and I hope to see you uh, later. Bye-bye.